spokes. We're going to be adding property to the beams. I want you to realize that we've been working on the geometry, okay? Uh, the geometry panel, that is what gives us all this information concerning your nodes and concerning your beams. Now, we're going to be adding property like uh, a thickness to these beams and the column. So I'll come to general. So when you click on general, you see the information here will change. It brings this panel for you. That is properties, wool structure. Remember, I come again, uh, general. Now under general, you see different information. What you need to do is you click on this define. So we want to define properties here for these uh, beams and columns. Now I'll click on define. When you click on define, it brings uh, this property dialog box whereby we have the option of choosing to say my beam is going to be a uh, circular beam or that of rectangle. Now folks, we can decide to add, if I decide to add uh, a circular uh, beam, now I'll, on, if you look at the height which is Y, so Y D means distance Y. Okay, I will type, uh, I can type the value in terms of meter. Okay folks, if I decide to add the circular one, I can just type, uh, if you look at what is here, you know we are working in meter. So it's going to be 0.3. Or better still, the best way, if you're not too sure, you just press F2 while you click here. When you press F2, you type uh, 300 space mm. Okay, in small letter and press enter. So it will just give you the value of uh, the distance that you want to add. And the material, leave the material check, it is concrete. Okay, then I'm going to click on add. Now when you assign, when you add it, you see the property is already in the project. The next I want to add is the rectangle. Now for the rectangle, you, you see the y distance and the z distance. If you look at the picture here, the z distance is just talking about uh, the distance between x, just like in normal coordinates, x and y. Okay, it's the plane. Uh, it's the plane or the top uh, or the plane of view that's talking about uh, x and y that we, the normal x and y that we know. You can call it in AutoCAD, we call it top view. That's the distance. Now, the yd on the other hand is talking about the height. Okay, so for the yd now, for the beam, as usual, I'll press my F2. It's going to be 450. That's for the YD. Then space MM. Press enter. Then the ZD is going to be 230 or 225. So I'm, I'm going to use uh, F2. 230 MM. Space MM. Then press enter. So it starts giving it to me. I'll leave the material as concrete, then I'm going to add. By the time I add, I'll close this. Now, the next thing to do is, I've only, listen, I've only succeeded in adding the properties to the project. But now I need to apply it to uh, this, uh, the columns and the beams. But before I do that, I want to duplicate. I want to duplicate this object. I want to teach you how to duplicate an object in another way. What I'll do is let's select everything, then select this view so that I can see everything. Then I'll right click and select copy. I don't think we've done this before. Now the next thing is I'll right click and not move this time around. I want to paste beam because what we selected is beam. I'll say paste beam. Now I'll move it towards the X direction. Uh, I just want to give it a far distance, say 7 meter. 
Okay, then I'll say okay. It's giving me a one in the beam to which I've been selected. Do not have any properties assigned to them yet. Okay, no problem. It's telling me that I've not assigned any property. Yeah, it doesn't matter for now because I want to apply different properties to them. So I'll select my isometric view. Now let's apply our property or properties to this. Now I'll select, I'll come to uh, this side. That's the circle property. I'll select it. Now be careful. I'm not going to save. I will not use apply assign to view. If you use assign to view to assign to everything. I want to do selected application. So I'll use, I'll select a different, uh, that's to apply it with cursor. Then I'll click on assign. Now once I click on the assign, that of the circle, I'll assign it to this. Now watch, if you look at this H, uh, H you're seeing, it has small arrow in front of it. Then I'll move it close to the column and click, click, click and click. Then on the beams, I'll use the rectangle. Now, I'll use assign to, sorry, use cursor to assign. Then I'll say assign also again. It has not worked. Select it. Then assign. Nothing is working now. So I'll assign it to this. You can see it's giving it arrow to assign to this. Assign to this. This is the way I want it. Now for this one, I will use I'll use a different method. I want to show you another method. I can select everything so long as you selected this your beam cursor. So I'll select everything. I want to do group selection. Then I'll use look at this is selected automatically. Assign to selected beam. So I'll use assign now. Now you, we've used use cursor to assign. Now using cursor to assign that means you can assign it individually. Then when we use assign to view, that means everything on the screen. So now we're using assign to selected beams. I'll now click on assign. It's telling you that the assignment method you have chosen is assigned to selected beam. Do you want to proceed? Yes. So it assigns it to every beams that are selected. The reason why this is now chosen is telling you that they share the same properties. So folks, in the next class, I'll be showing you how your objects will be looking in 3D uh, view or in solid rather.